It was Hagrid. Hagrid opened the Chamber of Secrets 50 years ago. It can't be Hagrid. It just can't be. We don't even know this Tom Riddle. He sounds like a dirty, rotten snitch to me. If the monster had killed somebody, Ron, what would any of us have done? Look, Hagrid's our friend. Why don't we just go and ask him about it? That would be a cheerful visit. Hello, Hagrid. Tell us, have you been setting anything mad and hairy loose in the castle lately? Mad and hairy? You wouldn't be talking about me now, would you? No. no. Well, what's that you've got, Hagrid? Oh, it's a uh, flesh-eating slug repellent for the mandrakes, you know. Now, according to Professor Sprout, they've still got a bit of grown-up to do. But once their acne's cleared up, we'll be able to chop them up and stew them, and then we'll get those people down at the hospital unpetrified. In the meantime, though, you three had best be looking after yourselves. All right? Hello, Neville. Harry, I don't know who did it, but you'd better come. Come on. It had to be a Gryffindor. Nobody else knows our password. Unless it wasn't a student. Whoever it was, they must have been looking for something. They found it. Tom Riddle's diary is gone. All right, listen up. We play our game. Hufflepuff doesn't stand a chance. They're stronger, quicker, and smarter. And not to mention, they're dead scared that Harry will petrify them if they fly anywhere near him. Well, that too. Professor McGonagall. This match has been cancelled. We can't cancel Quidditch. Silence, Wood. You and your teammates will go to Gryffindor Tower now. Potter, you and I will find Mr. Weasley. There's something that both of you have to see. I warn you, this could be a wee bit of a shock. Oh, my name. She was found near the library, along with this. Does it mean anything to either of you? No. <laughs>